All right, here's video two. So now we've got a big kidney model here. Uh, you can see that it has, there's that adrenal gland that we learned about in the endocrine system. There is a fibrous capsule, this outer layer, that's that really tight, uh, dense, irregular connective tissue capsule because the kidney blood pressure is really high. So it kind of, it's a big, it's a nice tight package. Then regionally, we've got uh, the cortex, which basically goes from the outside to this border right here. You can see these blood vessels would be normally all the way across like this. So cortex is external, then the medulla is inside of that. This is the medulla region. The uh, urine basically is formed by a combination of structures in the cortex and the medulla called nephrons. And so this, these little white squiggly things here represent nephrons. One nephron, as we'll see in a close-up later, consists of a, a, a ball of blood vessels, a little capsule, and then some tubes. And they can either, most of them exist kind of distant out here. They'll, you'll find the, the, these little corpuscles. That's what these little yellow things are. These corpuscles up mostly found out towards the extremities, but some of them are found really close to the medulla. So the ones that, are, that have the corpuscles starting out here in the middle of the cortex are called cortical nephrons. Those that have their uh, corpuscles right close to the medulla are called juxtamedullary nephrons, juxtamedullary near the medulla. Uh, the urine is formed and uh, kind of funnels itself down into these uh, little openings here. These little, these little funnels are called calyces. This is a calyx, C-A-L-Y-X, uh, plural calyces. These are minor calyces. As they merge, they form major calyces right here. Uh, after that, they're, they combine basically into bigger and bigger units until you get to the renal pelvis, which is this whole region right here. So this sort of uh, big giant funnel is kind of the re renal uh, pelvis. Then you'll see the ureter exiting right there. There's a couple more things I needed to point out. Renal pyramids and renal columns. Uh, renal pyramids are these sort of, I guess, pyramidal uh, shaped things, these sort of triangular shaped wedges right here um, that consists of a lot of the little collecting ducts. So the collecting ducts that are funneling all of this urine uh, down towards these calyces are, are evidenced by this, this sort of pattern. And in between them are these renal columns. So a renal column is this thing right here. And this is going to be blood supply and, and nerve supply and so on. And uh, I think that's all I needed.